Division means equal distribution. Starry, do you remember this sign? Yes, it is division. We have learned that division means repeated subtraction. But starry, division also means equal distribution. Equal distribution of objects into groups. Let us see how. Here are 10 apples. Suppose we want to divide them equally between you and me. Each one of us will get 5 apples each. So Starry, the total number of apples divided by the number of people is equal to the number of apples in each group. This means that if two equal parts are made of 10 objects, there will be 5 objects in each part. And the total number of objects divided by the number of groups is equal to the number of objects in each group. Starry, what do we have here? Some juicy mangoes. Suppose we want to divide these mangoes equally among five of your friends. What do we do? We first give one mango to each friend. So, five mangoes have been given away. We still have five mangoes left. We now give away one more mango to each friend. All the mangoes are now given away. The total number of mangoes divided by the number of friends equals the number of mangoes each friend receives. Remember, Starry, the total number of objects divided by the number of persons they have to be distributed to equals the number of objects each person gets. Finally, here is a bunch of grapes. There are 12 grapes in this bunch. We need to divide them into four equal parts. How many grapes will there be in each part? When we distribute them equally into four parts, part one will have three grapes. Part two, three grapes. Part three, three grapes. And part four, three grapes. So, the total number of grapes divided by the number of parts equals the number of grapes in each part. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Starry, you now understand that division also means 
equal distribution.